Mountain bikes are rad. You should get one. Happy holidays from MTV Radley. Thanks for joining me. Today, we're gonna look at what I bring with me on uh, every ride. If you carry something different, let me know what you carry. Here's my pack right here. Uh, it's called the Camelback Mule. And inside this pack is everything I take with me on a ride. Uh, while I do get out on road rides, I only take this pack on mountain bike rides. So that's the focus of today's topic. Um, gear that I have with me while I'm out mountain biking. If you enjoy this video, hit the like button and subscribe to learn more. Let's first answer the question, Bradley, why do you wear a pack when you ride? Why not attach a small bag for tools or extras that you might want to bring? Well, here's why, because I like wearing a pack and I like wearing a pack because I get to bring the things that I want to bring with me on a ride. It might be more than you bring with you, um, but it's what I like to bring with me and it works for me. So that's why I do it. So how do you determine what you need to bring with you on the trail? And I'm going to be honest, it's going to vary a little bit from person to person. You might think about where you're riding, what's the weather like, are you solo or with friends, can you share some of the load for uh, tools or whatever to deal with mechanicals in the field. What are the trail conditions? What kind of needs do you have personally? Do you get cold fast? Do you get hungry fast? Do you bonk quickly when you don't get food? What about water? Are you like me? Do you drink tons of water? Could you drink a gallon of water out on a ride? Are you more like a camel where you drink a lot ahead of time and then you just store it for the ride? Is, uh, is it raining? Is it gonna be sunny? Are you running tubeless setup? You have inner tubes? Do you have a known uh, issue that you're dealing with on your bike, trying to save up the money to, to deal with it? And will that pose a problem or a challenge for you when you're out on the trail? And if so, how do you, what do you bring to address that to deal with it so that you can uh, continue riding and make it back home? Do you like to carry a few extra things uh, to help your friends out, like these little patches here? Do you carry anything like that that might be helpful for your riding buddies? So what do you, uh, what do you bring with you when you're out on a trail ride? I think that depends on uh, your personality for one. Point of the ride, are you solo? Are you with friends? Are you gonna go out for a quick five miles and then uh, that's it? Or are you gonna be out for 40 miles? all day are we looking at wintertime riding conditions summertime riding conditions or something in between is it raining is it sunny are you the kind of person that likes to be prepared for everything possible or are you the kind of person that make up things on the fly and adjust and pivot and so you like to take the bare minimum because you'd rather go light and fast all those things play a role in what you decide that you want to bring so the question i have for you is what do you bring when you go out on a trail ride leave the comments below but first, let's look at the pack. Uh, the pack, this pack that I have is a Camelback Mule, and it's got a number of features that I like. It's got an exterior stash pouch in the front, allows me to usually shove a jacket or uh, something sort of insulation that I like to bring with me on the ride. In this zipper pouch is where I carry a bunch of tools. It's got um, mesh pouch, zipper pouch inside for various things that I'll get into shortly. And then uh, working my way from the front to the back of the pack. The next pouch is a large pouch that has lots of other things that I carry inside of it. And up here is what I call a cell phone wallet pouch. It's not much bigger than that. And so those items fit nicely in there. And then the last pouch, this blue zipper, has a three liter uh, water bladder inside of it. Uh, so while I, I may not drink three liters of water for an hour ride or even a two hour ride, if I'm out all day, I definitely am excited to have a three liter bladder. It's got some cinch, some compression straps on here, which are great for, for, for cinching this down so stuff inside this pouch doesn't fall out as well as just keeping everything nice and tight uh, and tidy inside so things don't shift around a lot when I am riding. Uh, so compression straps down here and then compression straps here for the buckle, both sides. We have obviously shoulder straps, sternum strap, which 
Uh, I do like that it's adjustable. Can slide this up or down. A water bladder comes out and is actually attached using this little magnet, which I think is pretty slick. And uh, then obviously there's the waist straps and, and while this doesn't support any real load to your hips, it uh, keeps the backpack from jostling around too much when I am riding. Um, I also just want to point out the, there's a mesh back in here and then in here is sort of an airflow chamber. And I would say that uh, it does work. The idea here is that it helps to allow moisture and heat to escape. But I do like it. Let's pull some stuff out of this pack, shall we? Well, this isn't an all-encompassing list, if you will, or selection of gear that people might bring. It's what I tend to bring on trips. And if it's colder, I might have another hat, police hat, extra gloves, or maybe even socks if I get wet feet. I'm gonna wanna change those wet socks into dry socks at some point. Nonetheless, let's uh, jump into each item. I've got a small puffy, whatever puffy, this packs up nice and small, whether I just shove it like this or put it in its internal pocket. Can you guess why it's orange? Hunting season up here in the Pacific Northwest. Don't want to get shot at. So I like to be seen, I like to be visible. I've also got a yellow, bright yellow jacket that I wear if I don't, uh, if it's chilly but not cold enough for a puffy. That way I'm visible in uh, hunting season. Then I've got uh, it's a sunglass case. I can carry the whole case uh, just because I like to, sometimes I have to take them off. I also have interchangeable lenses, which is fantastic. I've got an extra inner tube and it's a little kit specialized and it comes with the inner tube obviously a nifty strap that keeps it all together tire lever it also comes with a co2 cartridge buried inside which is super helpful when needing to uh, inflate my tubeless tire fast and so Bradley why am I carrying an inner tube for a tubeless tire setup well because sometimes shit happens and you need to install an inner tube in your tubeless tire to make it back to your car that's why I carry it I've got extra tire levers because tires can be a real bear to remove from inner tubes I also carry a mini pump these come in super handy when needing to add a little bit of air back into my tubeless setup or my inner tube for that matter sometimes I reduce the air pressure depending on the riding conditions and then I get to a place where I want uh, my tires would be a little bit firmer. So I have one of these. I bring extra derailleur cable. It works for the front or rear derailleur, uh, but um, I only have a rear derailleur now on this bike, which I freaking love, by the way. If you haven't gone to a one by in the front, you should consider it. I've also got a, a spoke double wrench with different sizes, a one, zero, one, two, because I have had to tighten up spokes on the trail. Um, I carry a chain, a separate chain breaker because it's easier to use, it's light, and it doesn't take up hardly any space in my pack. I do carry the Crank Brothers M19 multi-tool. As you see, it comes with a chain breaker, but I'm gonna be honest, a designated chain breaker is always easier to use than a multi-tool chain breaker. And the multi-tool has a number of different features, 19 to be exact. Uh, different sorts of wrenches, Allen wrenches, Torx, screwdrivers, etc. I also carry a light with me. This one is a 12, uh, what is it, Lumina 1000. So you might ask Bradley, why would you carry a light source like this when you're going to be out during the day and you're not going to be out at any time when you might need it or when you would need it? Well, uh, my answer to that question is because you never know when you might need it. You don't want to be doing an afternoon ride, be 10 miles back, have something on your bike break, not be in cell phone land, and then you have to hike your ass out. It would be nice to have a, a handlebar mounted light for that, wouldn't it? So you can see where you're going instead of using our cell phone light. Yep. How many of you had to use your cell phone light because you didn't have a headlamp or some other light with you? Yeah. Um, and then I carry some extra patches, um, some extra... There we go. Extra patches for inner tubes. These don't work on tires, but um, if I do have to install 
an inner tube to make it out and I get a flat, hopefully I can repair it with that. Also, it's super light, it's super small, and I've had to give it to friends before because they've gotten a flat and it's come in handy. Um, they've applied it, they've been super grateful. We put air in the tire and we rode back to the trailhead. Hey, thanks for joining me today. If you learned something, hit the like button and subscribe. Also tap that notification bell so I can bring you more uh, bike tips, reviews, and trail rides. What do you carry with you on the trail? And is it in a backpack? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining me and I will see you on the trail. This smoke's is, this hat is huge on my head. It's fun, it's got that fun bell, but it's huge. So I'm constantly adjusting it. Wow, it's burly. It's unruly. Wow, my chest looks filled out from this angle.